Hi, I'm Lauren. I just wanted to provide a basic overview of what it takes to create a sensor platform for the LoRaWAN network. We'll go through steps that show what it would take for prototyping and then a module solution and then show some examples of some very powerful platforms for a very long range and then a finished application. First, I'll show how we can take an existing shield that we've developed, Simtech has developed with Embed and this shield has our 1272 RF transceiver with LoRa for the long range. And this shield is the RF portion only. So we need an MCU to be able to control all of the parameters inside the SX1272 LoRa transceiver. So in order to connect and interface the MCU, all we're going to do is line up the headers. These are Arduino header footprints and connect and be able to create a MCU and radio platform. Now with this, this represents a development tool, something we can get started and even prototyping with. And then we can also look at solutions that our partners have developed based on a module. So there's various evaluation kits out there. And here's an evaluation kit from a key partner. And we have the module here, and then the ability to access all of the general purpose I.O. and various other functions within the evaluation board. We have another evaluation board, a little smaller, direct USB connection, and allows you to do very similar tasks and get similar results. And then we have solutions that represent an overall module that you would then put in a prototype or a product that you want to use as a proof of concept. This is such a module. Here's another module from a partner and one more with an antenna connected. Each of these solutions make it very easy to create a sensor node and create a long range data link through the LoRaWAN network to be able to show proof of concept, prototyping, and ideas. And a lot of this actually takes place in a very quick amount of time because of the fact that a lot of code is already existing. Some of the code references can be found on embed through the ARM environment and also on GitHub. With these code examples, you can actually take those examples, bring them into a compiler, and generate a programming file. Thanks for watching. For more information on LoRa and LoRaWAN, please visit the Semtech website and join the LoRa community.